many people have read Way of the Peaceful Warrior and say, you know what I really got out of that book was about living in the present moment. Many of us would like to have more presence when we walk into a room with a group of people. We have to be present rather than let the content of our mind put our attention on the past and future. It's coming back to here and now. The book is a parable about a woman sage I meet up in the mountains and she teaches me these 12 laws of spirit. And the law of presence I was taught by a cat because cats are masters of living in the present moment. Have you ever tried to discipline a cat for when it's been mischievous? We can't live anywhere else but the present moment. Our body can only live right now. And even our mind, which seems to go from the past to the future, is that's also in the present moment. Those things are complete illusions, and that is one definition of enlightenment. We see the illusory nature of everything we think is going to happen or has happened. All that exists is right now. That's really what the law of presence is about. We have very little control over our thoughts. They arise, they come and go, but we do have some degree of attention over where we place our attention. Whether we put our attention when we're meditating or whether we let our attention drift with our thoughts. Every thought has a corresponding tension. When we are paying attention to our thoughts, we get tense. That's why people get so relaxed when they meditate, because they let go of those thoughts. They just let them go on. Life is a feedback system. It's a mirror. Our daily life is our training ground. It's our relationships, our health issues, our finances. Those are spiritual disciplines. The martial arts lineage is not about a sport or a game where you can lose a match or lose some points. It's about life and death. It's about living in the moment of silence and the moment of truth. Because one's life is on the line in the traditional sense, ancient warriors knew a chain breaks at its weakest link. Warriors had to pay attention not just to physical skill or fitness, but also the mind and also the emotions. That's why I knew the book was something about warriors, but it wasn't just warriors or fighting. It was peaceful warriors, because the battle is inside of us. Fear, doubt, insecurity. When we conquer those internal adversaries, the life around us becomes very, very different. Many people think of surrender as being a passive, kind of tolerating what you don't like or allowing injustice, but actually it's a very assertive, creative, intelligent response to any moment because stress happens when the mind resists what is. By learning to make use of whatever happens, how can I use this rather than, oh, why did this happen to me? We're able to flow with life much better. The future is a thought. It's an idea. Our future will be a present when it arrives. The more we take care of the present, the better the future is going to be when it becomes a present. Until next time becomes our present.